Hello everybody, Stagrex here, and today I have some cruel news for you, and that is the reveal of Scotty the Tyrannosaur. Yes, this is a really cool Tyrannosaur, this has been presented by the scientific community, and I've got some information that I wanted to share with you on him. And um, I do have a piece of paper here with everything listed, so I will be reading a little bit of this and know that my reading is not top-notch, so apologize that for advance. But let's talk about Scotty. So here's what I've found, and there's a lot about out there about Scotty, and I've compressed it all into one page, so if you want to go out there and learn about Scotty for yourself, I recommend doing it. He's a really cool Tyrannosaur. And let's get into it. So about 66 million years ago, the fossil nicknamed Scotty belonged to a 42-foot-long Tyrannosaurus Rex, one of the largest and most massive T-Rex ever discovered. When researchers studied the leg bones, they found that Scotty probably weighed in at about 7.9.7 tons. That makes this Tyrannosaur bigger than any other carnivorous dinosaur. Scotty's two legs could hold up more than 19,500 pounds. That is a lot. I mean, that's this is a big tyrannosaur. Let's continue. When the, when the same methods are applied to Sue, the famously complete tyrannosaur, that's that fossil comes out about 90 pounds lighter and was 42... Okay, and was, yeah... 90 pounds lighter. So, Scotty is heavier than Sue and a little bit bigger than Sue. Alright, now, um, Scotty's, um, uh, let's see. And Scotty was 42 feet in length. I think I've already said that. Yes, I did. But that's just what is on the paper. Alright, now we'll continue. Four meters tall, Scotty is at the University of Alberta's Department of Biological Science. And they s said in a statement, there is considerable size for variable variability for um yeah, among tyrannosaurs. Variety among tyrannosaurs. Some individuals were lankier, skinnier than others, and some were more robust that are, you know, more heavily built. Scotty X um, is robust. Um, take careful measure. Okay, so they took careful measurements of his legs, hips, and even shoulders, and Scotty comes out a bit heftier than other Tyrannosaur specimens. So we have a Tyrannosaur that's not only you know, really long and tall, but also way more hefty and bulky. You know, was he more muscular or was he more of a chunky big boy? You know, it's all that factors. And being as big as he was, he probably had a lot of easy meals, you know? Being as big as he is could easily just steal somebody else's meal. Let's continue on with what I've got. Scotty has quite a history, and he wasn't dug out of the ground recently. No, no, not recently. Rather, the fossil was discovered in 1991, one year before I was born. So that kind of gives you the age of myself. Um, but his bones were, um, his bones were locked in hard sandstone. It took more than a decade to remove the stone, fully. Uh, um, fully assemble the fossil and study Scotty to realize how different he was from the other Tyrannosaurs. So, this Tyrannosaur's bones were locked in the sandstone, and it took them till now. You know, 1991 till now, 2019, is a very long time. Um, he may have been revealed until 2018, but, uh, well... There you go. But again, that just shows you how much time they took on getting him out of the bones and then steadying him, putting him together. All right, it's it's a lot of work to get a fossil out of rock, you know, especially apparently sandstone. All right, 
So where did his nickname come from? Why is he called Scotty? Well, I'll tell you. The nickname comes from the celebratory um, scotch that was had on the night the fossil was discovered. So that night, after they discovered the fossil, Scotty, they wanted to have a toast, they had some scotch, that's what they used, and hence they named him Scotty. Great. Of course, I thought of the, when I thought of Scotty, I thought of Scotty from Star Trek. But, you know, yeah, alright. So let's continue. Um, Scotty is the oldest T-Rex known. He died when he was in his early 30s, and he carried the battle scars to show how hard he fought to live. Across the skeleton are um, pathologies, um, interesting word, um, spots where scarred bones, um, scarred bone records large injuries. Alright, he's got lots of injuries, lots of scars. Researchers um, collected the injuries recorded on his bones, um, calculated the injuries on his um, bones, and discovered an infected jaw, broken ribs, and what looks to be a bite from a fellow tyrannosaur on his tail. Um, since... Finding okay, that's, uh, we'll get to that point in a minute. So Scotty definitely had a rough time in his life. You know, he had to fight to survive. So how the fittest during the age of the dinosaurs, and he definitely put up a good fight. I mean, tyrannosaurs grew fast, and then died right until they young. You know, they had to put up a lot of other things. The herbivores fought back most of them. You know, um, you got the Triceratops. That definitely was not something you would tackle if you weren't that experienced, and Scotty was definitely involved in probably some fights with other Tyrannosaurs, as seen here, probably for territory, mates, um, food, you know, and being as big as he was in his late 30s, he probably, after, since he has mass, and mass is very important, you know, the heavier you are, the more weight you've got, and when you've got that weight behind you, you can easily just push other predators out of a kill. So he most likely, I believe, scavenged during the last few years of his life before he, before the mighty king passed. So this is really cool information, and Scully is definitely pretty cool. He's up there with Sue for me now. Very cool Tyrannosaur. And here's a little bit of last information I've got, which is quite interesting. This is recently. This is recent. Um, science finding, alright, since finding Scotty, paleontologists learn a lot from his bones, and clues from the size and shape of his bones suggest that Scotty was actually a female. <gasps> what? Scotty's a female, which kind of makes sense. You know, Scotty is the biggest Tyrannosaur ever found, and females were larger than the males, so Scotty being bigger than even, you know, a little bit and more heftier and bigger than Sue suggests that he is a female. Now, it says suggests, so it's not 100% um, settled that Scotty is, in fact, a female. You could say he's still a male. For me, I'm just going to say male because that's what I, you know, got accustomed to saying. So if I keep saying male, it's because I I don't know either. So I'm just going to say male till um this more information, but I'm not opposed to him being a female, if he so is. So either he is the king of Rexes, or he, he or she is the queen of the Rexes. And once again, it shows how awesome Tyrannosaurus are, and how really, um, Scotty is very, a very unique and special specimen. And I just wanted to share this information with you, and again, if you want to check out Scotty for yourself, look, look him up. He's pretty cool, or she. Depends, you know, we don't know yet, but hopefully with more information comes to light, we'll have something. So hope you enjoyed this nice this, um, information about Scotty, and um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one, and have a great day, and bye everybody!